Hello and welcome to the video on graphing proportional relationships. Hey everyone, this is Mrs. K's way of graphing proportional relationships. In this video, we are going to be doing three things. We're going to be recognizing direct proportion in a graph, finding the constant of proportionality from a graph, and then graphing direct proportion from a table. The first thing we're going to do today is recognizing direct proportion in a graph. So the first definition that we're going to write down is the graph of direct proportion is always a straight line through the origin 0, 0 that does not lie along the vertical or horizontal axis. Please pause right now to write down this definition as well as to draw these three graphs located down here. Welcome back. Now that you have your definition and your graphs, let's talk about them. So first part of the definition that is really important that we know is that a graph of direct proportion is always a straight, whoops, it is always a straight line. Make sure that you underline straight line with a straight line to really emphasize that point. The second thing that we want to be able to do is circle the origin. Remember the origin is where our x and our y axes cross. So it is where 0 and 0 x y coordinates meet. So now let's look at these three different graphs located down here, A, B, and C. We are going to determine if they are direct proportions by seeing if they are a straight line or go through the origin. So for the first one, we see that the line is straight. So, so far, so good. The second thing is the origin. Well, the origin is 0, 0, and that's located right here where the, inner, the x and y intersect. So because both of those are met, this is a direct proportion. Yay! <clears throat> now for B, we see that, that it is a straight line, and that works for the first part of the definition. But our second part, the origin, which is located here at 0, 0, it is not, the line is not going through 0, 0. So this is not a direct proportion. Not direct proportion. Now, last we look at our final graph C, and the first thing we want to see is if it's a straight line, and no, it's not. It's actually a curved line, and so that right there, we already know that it is not part of a direct proportion graph, but it is still going through the origin. But in order to be a direct proportion graph, it must be both straight and through the origin, and this only goes through the origin, so this is also not direct proportion. The only graph that we have that shows direct proportion is A. It's both straight and goes through the origin. Now we can find the constant of proportionality from a graph and that's pretty easy by using our handy dandy beautiful equation k is equal to y over x or our constant of vary our constant of proportionality or constant of variation is equal to our dependent variable y divided by our independent variable x. So when we look at the graph, we want to remind ourselves that we have our x or our horizontal axis and our y or our vertical axis. We can be able to pick any point on the line and solve for k by having our y over our x coordinates. So let's pick three points right now. One, two, and three. For this first one, I see that I go over 1x and up 1y. So I want to create my equation k is equal to yx or k is equal to, for this first point, 1 divided by 1, which gives us 1. If we did a second example, the second line right here, we have 3 as our y as because we go up 3 over 3, so then we have 3x, and that reduces also to 1. And last, our, because we know that this is a proportional, we should know that our next constant of proportionality should be 1, but let's check. Our last example right here is y of 5 and x of 5, so we also get 1. Now this is great because we were able to find it only needing technically one point, but we were able to find it in three. So our constant of proportionality, k, is equal to 1. 
If we wrote the equation, that would be y is equal to 1x or just y is equal to x. Last but not least, we want to graph direct proportion from a table. In our last example, we took the x and the y axis and we found k. Well, now all we have to do is take our x and our y coordinates and place them on our beautiful graph. Using color coding, I want to remind us that, oops, that our y is our vertical and our x is our horizontal. We will be able to transfer these different parts of our graph because we can create coordinate points or coordinate pairs. Our first one is right here and we can see that if we remember that our x is always our first coordinate and our y is our second, then for our first point we will have 0 as our y, 0 as our x, and we have the point 0, 0. We can plot that first at our origin 0, 0. Our second point will have an x, as we see here, of 1 and a y of 3. So we will have the first point of y, or sorry, x is 1, y is 3. So we can draw that by going, starting at the origin, going over 1x and up 3. So our point is at 1 to 3. Quickly, we can also do our second two points, and without color coding, because hopefully you remember how to do this. We also have the point 2, 6, and also 3, 9. We can connect these using a straight edge, which I do not have, so wish me luck. But we can connect these with a straight line, and that is our direct proportion from a table. Poor little puppy Callie is super tired after a long day of daycare. Hopefully she'll be up and running by the next video. See you guys tomorrow.